The mystery box is an infamous part of Call of Duty Zombies, but where are the five worst locations of all time? Let's take a look. Hi guys and welcome back to another top 5 zombie video and today we're going to be counting down the top 5 worst mystery box locations from World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 zombies. Now guys I am currently on the road to 1000 subscribers so if you could help me out and hit that subscribe button that would be great but with that said let's move on to the list. And coming in at the number 5 spot we have the diorized mystery box uh, in this location here. Now, I really dislike this box location for two reasons. Uh, the first reason being it's right next to a point of no return. So, you know, the slope uh, just to the, the left of the box, once you go down that slope, you know, you can't get back to this area unless you go around the entire map. So if you open up this mystery box and, you know, you're getting sort of swarmed by zombies and, you know, you're, 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 you're sort of forced to go down that slope, you know, you've got to run around the entire map to get back to this box, which is really, really inconvenient. And, you know, it's just in a bit of like a dodgy spot as well. It's in that sort of like a dead end area. You know, you've got to run along that sort of very narrow piece of the map, which is where there's down this bit here, you know, and, you know, it's just a really, really awkward position. But uh, but the, the, the bigger thing which annoys me with this box location is when you get a teddy bear in the first box. So when you get obviously when you get down that slope, you've got the box. Uh, in the upside down room and there's, there, there's only three box locations on diorized the, the two here and the one up on the rooftop but whenever you, whenever you get a teddy bear in the very first box there's like a 50 50 chance that the box is going to spawn here um up on top of where the slope is and when you when, when you're in the upside down room you know you can like you can see the box you can see it just there but you know you can't get to it unless you run around the entire map and it's just like come on like it's just i don't try like, obviously just trying to troll us but it's just so annoying because like you can see it you can it's just right there it's so close but you've got to go around the entire map you know down the elevator shafts past the an94 into the buddha room jump over that you know little section into the new building of the elevator across the rooftop jump over into the b23r room jump down you know down the stairs and it's just like you come on man really got to run around the, the entire map to get back to this box location so it's just not not one of my favorites at all i really really dislike this box but luckily i didn't use the box too much on die rise because it does have some decent war weapons you know the a94 svu etc so i don't think the box is all that important on die rise but still i do dislike this box location so it comes in at the number five spot now moving on to the number four spot we have the kina de totin box room a box location in in this room here i'm not sure what this room is actually called but um it's the, it's the room after the after the alley and this door here as you can see in this clip this is very commonly known as the death door you know the door which if you open sort of ruins the entire training method when you're training at the stage so you know you are sort of not forced but you you really want to keep that door closed if you're training at the stage and when the box is inside this room here you know, it just means that you've got to run around, similar to Die Rise, you've got to run around, you know, the entire map um, to to get to it. And it's just a pain, you know, you want to just, quick, say if you want to get a new gun, you want to quickly just run into, and I said, the, to the dressing room or wherever, you know, wherever you, you want to be, open the box, get a gun, and then get back to training. But when the, bo when the box is in this spot here, it's just, you've got to run, you know, through the alleyway, and it's in like a dead end, you know, there's only one way in and one way out of this room if you've got the door closed. Uh, which, which leads back to the stage so you know you don't you, you can't really go to this box uh, mid-round you have to sort of like keep a crawler and then you know sort of hit it as many times as you like and then you know go from there but it's just uh, i really just do not like uh um, this location it is the worst spot on kino to dozen by a mile you know I'm, I'm not a fan of it really in the alley either but it's nowhere near as bad um as, as the box spot here it's just one of those one of those places where you know, whenever it does appear here i'll just quickly try and hit it as many times as i can and get a teddy bear just to get out of the, just to get it out of this room so yeah just i do not like it at all so it comes in at the number four spot now coming in at the number three spot we have the call of the dead box location on the ship 
and you know this is just universally hated across like i'm pretty sure every single zombies player will tell you that this is just oh it's just an awful spot for a mystery box location so call of the dead has like two areas you've got like the ship and you've got like the lighthouse you know, they're like the two main areas and the ship uh, you, you know the only useful things on the ship is juggernaut and the power switch and once you've turned on the power and you've got juggernaut you don't really have much reason to go back onto the ship uh, unless the box is here so you know you don't really so once you've got juggernaut and you've got, and you've got the power and you want to head over to the lighthouse you know and start training you know with your aksm for you and you know your pierce your flopper and you know your stone up your speed cola whatever you want to buy it's, it's all over there on the uh, on by the lighthouse but when the box is on the ship it's so far from everything it's so far away from all of the useful parts of the map like i said it's only really juggernaut and the power i guess mule kick is here as well but i don't really buy that too much but it's just so far away from all of all of the other things of, of the map and it's just uh, it takes ages to get here as well it's just uh, it's just so far out the way uh but it's just one of those things which when the but when the box does spawn here uh, or does appear here i just keep i just keep restarting the game until it isn't that's the only sort of like silver lining with this like you can see where the box is on call of the dead from the from the very beginning unlike kino de toten so when the box is here i'll just keep restarting the game until it's over by, by the lighthouse so you know you do have that i guess but now nah, this box location is uh Nah, it's just it's just terrible so it comes in at the number three spot but moving on to the number two spot we actually have a Durie's box location and it's this one here next to the type 100 um, and the teleporter and this is such an an awkward spot for a box and it's really really dangerous as well because you can't actually see sort of what's coming around the corner because the box is like in sort of sort of obscure little corner you gotta sort of open the box run back outside have a look if there's any zombies coming in, run back in here again collect the weapon and then run back out again it's just it's really really awkward and you know like i said you can't really go here mid-round either so similar to the kino to totem box that we spoke about you can't go to this box mid-round because you will get absolutely swamped by a load of zombies it's such a dangerous part of the map you've got to you know keep a crawler or you know one zombie and then keep it in the box until you get what you, what you want to get you can't come here because it's one way in and it's one way out unless you want to spend 1500 points on using a teleporter which you no know, no one really wants to do that if they can help it so yeah dairies listen it's one of my favorite maps i think it might be my, well it is my my favorite map of all time but this box location i just really really hate it i, I just i can't stand it whenever the box is here i just I have a big sigh of disappointment and it's just quick to get to the bed as fast as I can just to get it out of here because it's dangerous it's awkward it's just it's just not in a useful spot you know it's it's just awful I think really really dislike this spot so it comes in at the number two spot but coming in at number one we actually have a tie between this box and this box from buried so both the boxes uh, in the maze from buried on black ops 2 i mean <laughs> what well, it's, it's just laughable isn't it it's just laughable because these box locations are absolutely horrific so luckily on buried you can obviously use leroy just to keep the box uh, in one spot and nine times out of ten you just keep it in the original spot you know next next to where juggernaut is but if god forbid you get a teddy bear in that box you better hope it doesn't come to the maze because you are going to have a field day of not even navigating the na navigating the maze but you got to navigate to the box as well and like you can see the light you can see the blue light up in the air but you, you know you can't get to it so you're running around like an absolute idiot <laughs> trying to find this stupid box and it's just an absolute pain in the ass trying to find it it's just and and there's two as well there there's two spots in the maze so you could if you're really unlucky you could get a teddy bear in the first box in the maze and then it goes to the other spot in the maze now that would be absolutely just horrendous if that did happen but you know luckily like i said you don't actually have to have the box here you can just use leroy um give him candy and he'll keep the box in one spot so you know you can easily avoid having the having the box here but if you know god help you if, if the box does come here then well you are in for a right treat trying to find it and you know it's just like i said it's very very dangerous about it's very close quarters the maze and you know you, you really do not want the box 
uh, um, in this in this spot. So I think without a doubt, you know, these two boxes are the worst positions um, in you know in, in in zombies. So it's got to come in. Well, they they've both got to come in at the number one spot. So thank you for watching this video guys, please remember to like and subscribe, like I said I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers so if you could help me out that would be absolutely brilliant and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of your top 5 worst mystery box locations from Call of Duty Zombies. Also guys I have created an entire playlist full of different top 5 zombie lists so if you are interested please make sure they check them out as well. So thank you again for watching and I will be back soon with another video. Goodbye.